Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back. SCG here with another GTA 5 online video. We are back to our regular scheduled program. Alright, so after yesterday's video, we are back and we are moving up and moving forward. I just want to thank everybody who left the nice comments on yesterday's video. I think I'm going to go ahead and lock the video. You all saw it. You know what it is. That's not really the negative impact I want to leave on my channel. So we're moving forward and we're moving upwards, alright? So this video, we're going to show you how to get... Benny's wheels on any of your special vehicles, that's including your um, Rocket Voltic, Ruiner 2000, um, yeah, you know, pretty much all those guys there, Aqua Technical, um, those type of ones. The only ones that won't work is on the bigger ones like the Boxville, <clears throat> the Phantom Wedge. I'm going to be doing it here on the Phantom Wedge, or not the Phantom Wedge, the, um, what the heck is this thing called? Ramp Buggy, the Ramp Buggy, that's what we're doing. Alright, so basically you can do Benny's wheels on any of these guys. We are using the RC with Benny, so if you don't have that already, make sure you do go and click on the link down below to get those Benny's wheels on your RC. We also need a friend. We're going to need a facility. The facility has to have one empty spot. Only one empty spot, so fill the rest with RH8s or something else, but make sure you just have one empty spot. And we're going to have our friend with a Deluxo with the same facility. Alright. So let's just jump straight into it. What we're going to have to do is pull out the vehicle that we want to put the Benny's wheels on. So I called out my ramp buggy. And then from there, we're just going to get into our friend's Deluxo. And he's going to go ahead and drive into his facility. All right, so I called out my ramp buggy. My facility has one empty spot. We're getting into our friend's Deluxo. And he's going to go ahead and drive into the same facility that we both own. Okay. So if you own the Ron Wins Farm facility, probably like most of us do, since it's close to Farmhouse Bunker. Uh, it's nice and close, and you can go ahead and do this right here. All right. So once we do spawn in, our friend does have to have an Avenger. He is going to go ahead and basically hit right on the D-pad to take us into the Avenger. So we're both going to do get back into the car, and he's going to hit right on the D-pad. So once he hits right on the D-pad, it's going to take us into the Avenger. Now what he wants to prepare beforehand is he wants to double tap his PlayStation button and get ready to join another friend that's online in a different session. Alright, doesn't matter what kind of session it is, but he just wants to have that ready to go. So when he hits right on the D-pad, takes us into the Avenger, what he's going to do is he's going to go down, he's going to hit circle first of all to back out, and then he's going to go down to exit the Avenger. He has to do this part pretty quick. He's going to hit tap X on exit the Avenger, then he's going to double tap his PlayStation button and join his friend in another session, and just spam through the alerts. All right, so we're going to do this right now. We're going to hit X, double tap the PlayStation button, and then he's going to go ahead and just spam through the alerts to accept them to take him into that new session. All right, from this point, you are going to be stuck on an infinite black screen. All right, if done correctly, you're going to be on a black screen. Nothing's going to happen for you. You're going to be there until your friend comes back to the session. So be in a party with your friend, you're going to go ahead and send him an invite back through Play Together. Okay, that's the only way you're going to be able to send him an invite. So send him a Play Together uh, invite back because you're going to be stuck on a black screen. So you have really no other option. So he's gone ahead and spawned into a new session and then just went in through the PlayStation menu and joined your invitation back to the session that you were just in. Okay, so you can see the top left there. I have both my characters now in the same session. So if we go outside... Um, all we have to do from this point, or all our friend has to do from this point, is they can either come to us on the map. We're going to be up over here somewhere. I'm looking for it. Where the heck am I? Uh, nope, we're up over here. There we go. Okay. So he can either come over here and kill me. Uh, he'll probably see me. Or what I did is just called the mercenaries and sent mercenaries after myself. And, you know, I'm talking to myself in third person again, but... <laughs> so I just go ahead and call mercenaries to May kill your other character or your help? friend to kill you I should say alright no so once that's uh, done your friend's work is finished alright so he sent the mercenaries waits until you die once you've been killed they can go on their mosey on way find a new session whatever they want they are finished helping you so as you can see here we're only up on a black screen and from here eventually you'll hear the you know the the animation of you being killed the wasted sign and you will then come off the black screen it's that simple so now what we need to do is we need to register as a CEO and we want to call ourselves a buzzard 
Do not call a personal vehicle at this point because our ramp buggy or our special vehicle is still going to be on the map. You can kind of see the white, ink white indicator on the map still. So we want to call a CEO buzzard and we're going to fly over to our CEO office. All right. So pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and speed up through that. We're just going to go ahead and fly over and then we are ready to continue. So from here, um, basically I'm going to show you here, obviously, the the um, there's the icon. So this is actually two videos I pieced together because for some reason the recording wasn't working properly, but that's my aqua this time. But as you see, the indicator, indicator is still on the map, okay? So my ramp buggy is technically still on the map at this point, even though I just showed you a blazer aqua. Trust me, it's still there. All right, so this next part, um, this is kind of where it cut off for me. So I'm going to explain it through pretty quickly here. What you need to do is get into any one of these cars. Now, I do recommend forcing a save beforehand, so just change your outfit to force a save. I didn't, and it still worked, but I do recommend forcing a save first and also having your spawn location on your bunker. Now, once you get into the car, you're going to get this infinite black screen. You want to quickly go ahead and either suspend the application through Netflix or trim a clip. All right, so you can get this ready ahead of time if you want to as well. So this way you can just go ahead and double tap and click on either you know Netflix, YouTube, or trim a clip. Either one of those will suspend the application. And then from there, you'll just go ahead and reopen it, and it'll put you into a public session. Now, at that point, your ramp buggy or whatever vehicle you're using is going to be in your facility. Okay, so this part got cut out for me. So what you need to do is when you're at your facility, you spawn then at your bunker, just call any vehicle from your arena, drive it over to your facility, and swap it out with whatever special vehicle that is now in your facility. This will move it over to the arena, and then we're ready to go ahead and do the RC merge. Okay, so that just makes it easy. So make sure your spawn location is on your bunker, call a vehicle from your arena, level G, and then go ahead and swap them out. So we've got our RC right here on the Benny's wheels already, all set up. So all we need to do now is you'll see the ramp buggy is over here. So I've already swapped it, like I said. Here is the stock ramp buggy that we started off with in the very beginning. And now from here, you probably already know how to do the merge, but I'll walk you through it uh, super quick here anyways. We're going to hit run the D-pad to take this into the mod shop. And then from there, we're just going to go to exit vehicle. So circle and then down to exit vehicle. And we're just going to walk over to our RC. We're going to hit right on the D-pad. And then repair it if you want, doesn't matter, just exit the workshop and then get back into our ramp buggy. Now we need to have one of those jobs that uh, doesn't start up, okay, like a glitched out job. So I'll leave a link down below for my job that is still working. And what we're going to do is hit options and then go ahead and start up that job using square. Accept the first alert, spam left on the D-pad so it takes it back to storage. It's going to take us up into the clouds and then we're going to hit X on the second alert and we'll come back down to a merged vehicle. All right, so went through that super quick. I will leave a link down below as well to the full tutorial on that video, which is still working right now. Um, so if you don't know how to do that, you can watch that one to watch it uh, more in depth and clearly, okay? So once we've got it merged, we're just gonna go ahead and hit right on the D-pad and then just modify one thing on the vehicle so that the save does actually uh, stick. So I just went through and transmission wasn't applied, so I went ahead and applied the transmission and then from there we can just go ahead and exit the workshop All right. now if we want this to go back into our special vehicle warehouse where it came from I'm going to show you how to do that as well it is also super easy okay so this is a bit of a long video sorry for that but uh, lots to cover here All right. It does take a bit of time mostly just you know flying back and forth between the different places that's the most time consuming obviously I cut that out but I'd say probably 20 minutes per car is what you're looking at for your, uh, you know, for the entire thing. So once we've got it saved, we drive it out, we can go ahead and go over to our vehicle workshop, um, or whatever the heck it's called, uh, vehicle storage, and we can just go and drive it in. It's pretty much that simple. It's going to give us a black screen, okay? So when we do go to drive it in, we're going to get the black screen. From there, you just need to close your application, and then it will actually be in there when you come back from you know story mode and the closed application so as you see here I go ahead and I go to drive it in and do, 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 there we go and then we get stuck on the black screen so I just gave it like a minute before I actually close the application 
and then spawn back into a brand new session at my bunker. So what we'll do from here is go ahead and run outside and I will show you, we'll call up the vehicle option menu and you'll see we have our uh, ramp buggy still in there and it is now the fully modified custom Benny's version. All right. Well, thanks guys. Appreciate the patience and enjoy the, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is SCG. Stay tuned for more videos coming. I have another one coming probably in a couple hours here for you. Another sick glitch. Uh, well, not glitch, but more of a find. So stay tuned for that as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and drop a like for more videos like this. We're not going anywhere. No matter what the haters say and do, we're going to be here. We're here for long term. All right, guys. So stick around with us. Appreciate all the support and love. And until the next one, this is your boy SCG, and I'm out.